Hello everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Keegan from the Aussie Sim 2 here. And today guys, we're going to be going over what I think are five of the must-have pistols inside Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Now this list was actually pretty difficult to put together because there is just so many good pistols inside of Wonderland, I, which is why I think it is probably one of the best weapon classes in the whole entire game. There is going to be some honorable mentions at the end, so stick around for that guys, but let's not muck around, let's jump straight into the video. Now first up we have the Queen's Cry. Now the Queen's Cry is a cryo pistol, it is a Stoker pistol, so Stoker usually has high, S, high uh, magazine, high fire rate. Now the Queen's Cry has a very unique effect, upon hitting an enemy you have a chance to send meteorites raining down upon them and these meteorites deal 300% extra splash damage as cryo for you which is just nuts. Now there is one downside to the meteorites obviously if you do shoot enemies too close and it starts raining meteorites down uh, they will kill you uh, the only negative to the Queen's Cry. Now the Queen's Cry works exceptionally well when you are using soaked obviously because it only comes in cryo so the best way to take advantage of the Queen's Cry is to be using the soak class mod or maybe even use Blight Call or use Bog Down. Get the guys to hit the enemy and hope, for, hope that the enemies will get soaked. But either way the Queen's Cry is an absolute slapper of a pistol that's so much damage now you can farm the queen's cry from the maker all the way at the end of the chaos chambers essentially when you do the raid bosses and i'm pretty sure you can also get it at from the chest after beating dragon lord so you can't do that in the chaos chamber you have to do that outside of the chaos chamber like just farm dragon lord normally and i'm pretty sure when you go down to the chest at the bottom where you loot all those chests i think you have a chance to get the queen cry from there i'm not sure someone please correct me if i'm wrong now next up we have the liquid cooling now the liquid cooling is a skulldugger weapon so you don't have to reload with them you just continually fire and they will overheat now the liquid cooling doesn't have any super crazy effects like hidden within it's like damage card or anything although when you do score critical hits with this weapon it will like refresh the heat build up on the weapon so you can can just as long as you're scoring crits you can continuously fire with this weapon without it overheating super super nice this weapon absolutely melts enemies you're going to want to try and get it in times two you can get it in just a normal damage card and also a times two multiplier you want to try and get the times two it just does that it just does that much more damage now if you want to liquid cooling yourself guys you need to go over to the obelisk boss in crack mask cove defeat the boss there in the obelisk and you should have a decent chance to get the liquid cooling for yourself next up we have the fear not guns with wings pistol this is going to be a bit of like the pistol companion section i uh i could just do them like one by one but i thought i might as well just like jam pack them all in here and i'll explain them all together because they are all insanely strong in their own respect but they scale off different things so i thought i might as well explain them like one by one but put them all into one category so we have the guns with wings now the guns with wings you obviously you're going to throw them out they're a tiered or weapon these things are going to throw around and shoot cross bolts now the cross bolts do come in just a flat damage increase by six percent for four seconds and then you can also get ones that increase your melee damage so any of those melee builds out there i highly recommend you try out the gun wings they can really excel your damage to the next level with the cross bolt effects and now the other one that i want to talk about is the whatnot pixie pistol now the whatnot scale off gun damage these are gun damage scaling pixies now the whatnot again you're going to throw them out and it's going to spawn pixies now these pixies scale off gun damage so this is really really good for gun damage builds and all those spawn war spawn warden builds and they will proc play the angles and all those other gun uh, proccing abilities the whatnot pistol will proc them because they are scaling off gun damage i am using a poison one here with my blight guys build it they're very very strong because i'm taking a lot of more uh, bonuses to poison again all these companion uh pistols do come in all elements but i feel like the frost and shock ones are going to be really really strong with cryo and the poison one is pretty strong if you're running blight caller and then the last one to talk about is the fear not pixie pistols the one that everyone should know about by now because they're probably the strongest companion pistol in the game besides the gun wings i feel like sometimes the gun wings can excel in certain circumstances but obviously the fear not pixie pistols these ones do scale off spell damage and the reason they are so strong is because it works insanely well with spell shot we all know how strong spell shot is now these again you're going to throw them out they're going to spawn pixies they're going to fly around and they're just going to absolutely annihilate the enemy you're going to want to try and get a times two because that means they're going to be shooting out double the projectiles which means double the amount of damage which is just awesome i'm pretty sure the fear not pixie pistols do proc all spell procking abilities i know pugly just had a video it kind of like talking about how there's some things that don't work that way that you think they work but i'm pretty sure i don't know the pixies just do an insane amount of damage so there must be some kind of double dipping formula that they go through whether it is double knot whether it's something else i don't know but either way 
when you use the Fear Not Pixie Pistols with Bell Shot, they absolutely decimate. If you're looking at the Pixies, guys, the only place to get the Pixie Pistols is going to be at the Chaos Chambers. I know there's no dedicated Luke Source because they are only purple rarity, so just, again, cross your fingers, cross your toes, and hope they pop out of the bunnies. Now moving on over to the next one, now this pistol is going to be a fan favorite with a lot of people and that is the Ruby Spite. The Ruby Spite is a Dahlia weapon so it is going to come with two firing modes. Now now the extra firing mode on the Ruby Spite has a very very unique effect. When you do switch firing modes, again you want to look for something that is going to signify on the weapon that you have switch firing mode. Mind you there are some Ruby Spites that don't give you a, a visual indication, they're really annoying but most of the time they will have a scope on. Uh, and that will indicate that you have switched to firing mode. But when you are in the second firing mode, as soon as you get a kill, it's going to activate the Ruby Spites Smart Tracking Crossbow. So you can just shoot them anywhere and they're just going to auto track to all the enemies. It's insanely, insanely fun to use. And it even works even better when you're using Barber Load because now when you shoot the one enemy, it's going to ricochet all the other crossbolts out to other enemies and you're just going to deal so much more damage. And it works really well with Spore Warden because you get a lot of, you have a high chance to get a lot of play of the angle procs. So I don't think it's no surprise that the, uh, the Ruby Spite was going to make it on this list. I think we all know how friggin' insane the Ruby Spite is. It's such a fr it's such a fun weapon to use. I highly recommend you guys try it out if you have not somehow. I don't know how you wouldn't have not tried the Ruby Spite out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have shown this weapon off and just shown how strong it is. But if you haven't, I highly recommend you go and try out the Ruby Spite right now. Now, if you do want to pick up a Ruby Spite for yourself, it does drop from the Obelisk Bosk in Deep Wild Dankness, the Monstrous Shroom. I have had a lot of luck of actually actually getting ruby spites from the monstrous shroom so i'd highly recommend you guys try that out if you are struggling to get a ruby spite yourself and last but not friggin least we have the lewd white pistol now this pistol is no stranger to people's inventory because of just how friggin insane it is it's a torque pistol so it's gonna have that uh, second firing mode between sticky and just the explosion firing mode and you're going to want to have it on sticky all the time because when you are sticking enemies with the uh, the torque sticky you are going to be increasing your damage by 35% per sticky so if you stick the whole enemy with a whole clip watch that enemy just go pop now the other cool thing that the torque sticky has that sometimes not always on the damage card but it, it is always there and the, tor the torque stickies are attached to a crossbow and those crossbolts always also give you a damage scaling effect as well. So that on top of the torque stickies increasing their damage when they're stuck to an enemy yeah, you get some very, very nice damage output with the Lude Wire, and I think this is why this is probably everyone's favorite pistol to use. And it just works with just about every single build, because again, it's a purple pistol, so it comes in all elements. Again, Frost and Shock are going to be your best bet, again, with Soaked. I'm showing some clips with my Blade Caller build here, and if, if the Torque Stickies weren't enough, if you use this with Blade Caller, the guys just do some insane amounts of damage, because your Torque Stickies are just doing insane amounts of damage. Now if you do want a Lude White for yourself, you're gonna have to go to the Chaos Bunnies and just pump crystals into the bunnies and just cross your fingers and your toes and then hope that you get one. Uh, they do drop in times two and times three. Times three is the better variant uh, because you're gonna be shooting out more more of the Torque Stickies at once compared to the times two. Times two is still very, very strong, but the times three does outclass the times two. Moving on over to some honorable mentions now, guys. First one I wanna talk about is the Gluttony. Now the Gluttony is actually a very, very unique pistol as well it only comes in dark magic and again it is a fearful weapon so we're going to be chucking it while you are below 49% HP the gl gluttony gains a hundred percent increase to its shot and the reload effect the dagger storm effect so this weapon works insanely well with the deathless mantle and Greyborn because you're getting so many uh, effects to dark magic and when your health is low and also, taking Deathless Mantle means you're always at 1 HP, which means you're always getting the 100% increased damage effect to the Gluttony, which is awesome. So the Gluttony just didn't make it to the list. I just thought the Liquid Cooling and the Queen's Cry is just a little bit better. Again, uh, like the Queen's Cry, if you throw it at an enemy that is too close, that explosion will most likely kill you, and that can be super annoying. I feel like this weapon kills me more than what the Queen's Cry does. So I know that can be super, super frustrating. So that's why I have just moved out of the list and put into the honorable mention. But regardless of that, the Gluttony is an insanely, insanely strong weapon when you know how to use it. Now, another honorable mention has to go to the Butter Boom. Now, the Butter Boom is another Torque Sticky weapon. It's a really, really fun weapon to use. There's nothing crazy that happens with weapon it, except the fact that it shoots out popcorn. I just love it. Uh, besides the fact that it has a really cool visual effect 
with the popcorn popping everywhere, it is a pretty decently strong weapon. You pair this with a buff Meister that's frost or shock um, and soaked, you're going to be doing insane amounts of like double damage because you're also getting it going to get the buff Meister damage and also just the physical kinetic damage. It was a really fun weapon and I actually really enjoyed using this weapon. Again, it's not the best, but it, it's, it definitely has the fun factor going for it. So I thought I would just throw it in there. Last but not least, we have the auto magic. We've seen the auto magic being brought into the spotlight since Blightcaller has been brought out. We've seen a lot of builds are utilizing the auto magic now. So I just had to throw it in there. I personally started using a lot more of it myself. When you shoot an enemy with the auto magic, the bullets ricochet and they can ricochet up to three times. Auto magic also has a second firing mode and that is the tracker dart. You shoot that with an enemy, you, you can shoot anywhere and the bullet will auto track to that enemy that you have shot the tracker dart with. The auto magic is a very, very fun weapon to use and I felt like it deserved the spot in the honorable mentions. And that is basically it for the video guys. If this video did help you out, could you please leave a like on it? It greatly helps the channel out. That is it from me guys. Until next time, stay safe. Peace out.